In today's video, I want to test this ring seal smoke repair on my Jeep 2.7 CRD. So if you guys have been following this Jeep project of mine, you would know that it's just smoking insanely. First of all, there was injectors. We did that. We did quite a few things on this already. So the next thing I want to check is if the rings are not bad. So I bought this wrist loan ring seal smoke repair so you add this to the oil we'll do a oil change on this add this and see if it actually works let's get started Okay, so my oil is draining and I'm ready to remove the old oil filter and see what surprises it holds for me. It's a little black, but no glitter. That's a good thing. There's something there. But nothing I think I should be worried about. So I'm just gonna put on new oil rings. This one looks like it actually got damaged. Our new filter here's a frame so made in South Africa hopefully that helps Okay guys, so old oil is out, new filter is in. Time for the new oil and the rest loan. Well, sealer. Time for some oil. Okay, so now I'm gonna start the Jeep and then just after a few minutes of idling, I'm gonna add this and then it should start the process and it says that you have to drive for five kilometers after adding this so we'll go for a little drive afterwards okay so i had to switch off the engine there's too much blow by for this stuff to actually go in crazy Thick. Okay, so let me explain for a minute what is blow by. So, this is your piston, and these are your rings. So, these rings over time can collapse, meaning they could get stuck with debris and it will just not open up like they do now 
or the rings worn out or the cylinders can worn out and that will cause blow-by so when your piston goes up for combustion the combustion will happen and will just spread over the piston going into the oil pressurizing your sump and that is blow-by so you don't want that that's very bad this engine unfortunately has it already and and this wrist load might be its last help that you can get before i take it out and tore it apart or put something else in so let's hope that this helps a little bit i don't think it's a permanent solution but it might just save you in the emergency okay so let's go on our five kilometer drive i won't call it a test drive but let's call it a a break-in drive and I'm actually very worried <laughs> I think this engine is toast guys I know a lot of guys really want me to keep this engine alive but the reality is somebody else didn't look after it and now I'm stuck with this so I just drive around in the neighborhood slow speeds not doing crazy stuff like 40 45 maybe kilometers an hour not miles <laughs> so um, sound of smoke lots of weird looks people are giving me but that's normal so we do have black smoke when accelerating obviously I'm looking for the white smoke or the blue smoke or whatever you want to call it our temperatures are rising um, not close to operating yet but that's fine and now I have a car following me nice okay guys so we've done about five six kilometers now and I'm heading home um, yeah before I raise more suspicion and fuel I just came on <laughs> how interesting is that we are smoking a lot of black which is okay for now um, I want to see if we stopped with the white smoke actually so I'm just heading into the house and then we'll have a look. Okay, so the moment of truth, let's have a look. Quite difficult to tell. Um, it's not smoking. It looks to be a tiny bit less, but I can see puffs of black smoke while it's smoking white smoke. So uh, it's a tough one to call if Rizlon worked. Um, so this is my test. And I would say it didn't work so this engine is those guys I'm not gonna be able to save it I don't think so I think the only way to save it would be to take it out tear it apart rebuild it resleeve it re everything it which is obviously a lot of money as well so guys if you buy a Jeep diesel think twice <laughs> on that note Please remember to hit the like button, subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Cheers.